What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in this video we're talking about the brand new ulti event. We've got uh, a fair few teams that uh, can go ahead and get this done and uh, they actually don't really require too many crazy units but uh, anyways uh, this team you're seeing here um, I wouldn't really recommend this one because it isn't using a full booster team. Just want to give a little bit of information by the way it, uh, as of the recording of this video which is only like an hour or two after the event has gone live uh, we can actually see from the boosted list of characters that 6 plus Ace is not actually boosted for some reason, but uh, it's weird because the 6 star version of Ace is boosted, so I think that might be an error. So we might get a rainbow gem compensation or something in the next day or two because I, I definitely think 6 plus Ace is supposed to be boosted for this. He's very good for this as well because what occurs on battle... Uh, three and also on battle four is that your captains are given special reverse um, So on stage three your captains are reversed by two turns and then on stage four your whole crew gets one turn of reverse And the thing is is you're also given the uh, the special lock thing where you can't reduce your character's cooldowns by passing the turn You can only reduce your character's cooldowns if you use a special ability or a support effect to remove the special reverse or to just give cooldowns to your characters so it means that team building wise, you do need to uh, use some units that provide some cooldown reduction to the crew, specifically for stage four. There are some very good characters that are boosted, um, such as the Nami and Ro uh, Robin character that you guys are seeing on this squad here. Uh, well, actually, it's not this squad, but on the next squad, you'll see Nami and Robin, which is a free to play one that came out during one of the Kazuna clashes a while back. Uh, she's boosted for this and also provides cooldown. She also gets rid of paralysis and gives you an orb boost. So she's literally perfect for stage four versus page one do know that the boss does revive on the uh, higher difficulty version if you are playing the lower difficulty version which there is a team in this video for that um then the boss does not revive so it does make it a little bit easier but we'll pick things up when we talk about the next team Looking now at the next team, this one's going to be using Eustace Kid as the captain. This team's actually pretty good uh, in terms of the amount of drops that you get. Um, one thing to note is that I know not a lot of people will probably have that killer character. Um, killer is here because he does give us an orb boost on the final stage and he also locks our slots. But realistically, you don't really need that. Um, as long as you, re you just run a unit that can trigger the super type of Kid, that's going to help out a lot. Um, so Killer just fits in perfectly with this squad, plus it gives, I think it's like a 75% chance for a dupe drop, something like that. Um, but Kid's really good, he's a boosted unit here, he is allowing you to get an additional drop per run, which is great. The Brook from the Kizuna Clash also gives you an additional drop per run, and is very useful, because he gets rid of the attack down that occurs on Battle 5. We have the Nami and Robin character, as we said, which gets rid of the Paralysis, and also gives us an orb boost on the stage here with the page one obviously utilizing friend captains of big mom the new legend big mom is going to be ideal because that legend big mom does give you an additional three drops at the end of the quest the also the treasure map big mom that came out last month uh or is it yeah the most recent treasure map unit uh big mom is very good because she is a powerhouse driven so it works under uh big mom but also works under kid but also gets a gets around the rainbow shield on the final stage and gives you a 3.5 chain lock so uh, another really phenomenal unit here that allows you to get around the gimmicks but also provide you with some additional damage increasing effects the new Olin legend is also really powerful, of course, because uh, she does have the super type effect that allows you to get color affinity. And uh, it's very, very useful because of the fact that on this last stage, you're not allowed to activate a color affinity special. Oh, well, if you do, then you get given a nasty debuff. Um, I haven't actually triggered it myself. I didn't do testing in regards to that. But uh, by utilizing the color affinity of Big Mom through her super type, that's obviously a really good way to get around it. Um, or alternatively, of course, you can have a support effect that can trigger um, color affinity or a switch effect, right? All of those things will allow you to get around that uh, special interrupt effect. Yeah, 
Now we have the final normal team here versus the highest difficulty. The last team of the video is going to be an auto team for the uh, lower difficulty stamina. But uh, just talking about this team real quick, we're going to be using Yamato. Now, there's actually a lot of legends that are boosted for this quest. Um, not all of them are super useful, but this Yamato is kind of nice because she just has really good synergy with the big mom, friend captain. So I wanted to try and abuse that in some fashion. Once again, we're going to be using Brook and the uh, Robin and Nami character just due to the fact that they have great utility specials um, so that's really the only reason why they're here um, another thing as well is I probably would advise if you guys are going to use this team to actually go ahead and put the support VV on Yamato so when you reach the final stage Yamato can get a guaranteed matching slot um, because by using the special of Brook you can guarantee a matching slot on Big Mom by, by shuffling the tandem slot over to Big Mom and as long as the two int characters on the team have matching slots you're not going to really be worrying about the damage output that you have for the final boss stage. And then of course we have the Olin here as the sub to get rid of the rainbow shield once again and providing us with a chain lock. So by using that, it does allow us to activate the super type special of Yamato so we can lock slots. And then when the revive happens, we can use the Yamato special to give us the increased damage taken on the enemy, which allows us to kill us uh, kill through the enemy uh, pretty, pretty quickly, right? Um, and then we also have Kaido. So Kaido is pretty cool because he just gives driven characters a 2.5 attack boost. Big Mom obviously isn't an attack booster, so by getting an attack boost on the crew helps out a lot. But um, other than that, it's pretty straightforward uh, aside from that. So I'll leave you guys with this clip here and then we'll pick things up with the final clip of the video with the auto team. So here we are with the auto team here. Now I know not a lot of people are going to be able to build this. This is just utilizing some supports to make it super efficient. Um, another thing as well is that uh, people were opting to use Kid as their auto farming captain. I did, I, I did try it out, but I didn't honestly like it that much because what happens if you use Kid as the captain is that he generates bomb slots, right? And then if a character is doing auto with a bomb slot, they're always going to hit a miss, which means that it's kind of hard to actually do damage on the final stage. Uh, and even just these mini bosses, right? So I didn't like using Kid as the captain. I may re-explore it with some, some with some changes, but the supports on this team help out a lot. We have the Beppo on Law to get rid of the Rainbow Shield. We have an attack down removing support to Shigi on the Straw Hats, but there's lots of attack down removing supports you could use. And we also have the Black Maria Legend support on the new ulti character, which you can get by just clearing the lower stamina once. And that allows you to get rid of the two turns of paralysis. So that's obviously really, really nice to have. There's no support on Kid and Killer. Um, but what I ended up doing after the fact was I put the Raid Shiki, Clash Shiki on Kid. 
So when we reach the final stage, the driven characters get a 1.3 times attack boost. So both uh, Kid, Killer, and also the friend Captain Big Mum will actually get an attack boost, which is pretty cool. And due to the fact that we are using um, the supports on the team, such as the Tashigi, the badly matching slots that are given to us on this stage are actually shuffled into matching. Uh, not all of them, but a lot of them are, which actually helps out a lot. But that's going to wrap it up for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, leave a like. And uh, if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. On that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.